All right, so today I'm working on a 2005 Ford Super Duty diesel. Uh, this one has the typical gauge cluster issues. Uh, the odometer display doesn't work. Uh, I think one or two of the gauges are kind of sticky. And uh, uh, we see these all the time with uh, various issues. Uh, they could also have, you know, false, false malfunction indicators on or blinking. Um, could also cause the radio to shut off and the power windows to lose power. Lots of circuits go through this cluster, so it, when it fails, lots of things can go wrong. So we'll go ahead and get this thing pulled up and repaired. And uh, he's also having an issue with the trailer brake controller, the TBC module. Uh, it's displaying uh, on the odometer display when it was working. Customer stated that it was saying TBC fault. So we're going to go ahead and get that pulled out as well and get that repaired. So to repair this issue, um, we're going to need a prying tool, plastic prying tool, 7 millimeter. Um, I think that's it, but uh, if we run into anything else, then go get it. So I'm going to start up here and just kind of pull back. Just kind of work it back. Drop the steering wheel. Well, doesn't look like this steering wheel drops. Let me check real quick. All right, so this steering wheel does not drop, but uh, just drop the shifter. I think we could wiggle it out. So let's kind of lift up here a little bit. Yep, it's not going to be a problem. Now I'm going to have to get back there and unplug the climate control, the airbag light, and these switches. Alright, I got it all pulled out. Quite a few plugs back here. All of these. Pretty self-explanatory how they come out. And now what's left is uh, four, uh, four seven-millimeter screws around the cluster. And then the shift indicator, which once I get the screws out, I'll kind of show you how to get the shift indicator out. Be very careful. Don't just take the four screws out and yank the cluster out. I see these uh, things broken all the time, the shift indicator cables and yeah, so... Let me get the four screws out. Just give me a sec. All right, I got the screws out. Here's the shift indicator. Just kind of lift up the cluster. Just kind of pull it down. Just like that. Same on the other side, it's right behind the cable. And there it is. And now the two connectors. push this tab and at the same time pull the lever over same on that side all right so to remove the trailer brake controller uh, since we have the this cover off there is a 
There's a clip right back here. I'll show you once I get it out. Right back there that needs to be pushed. And then, yeah, basically, there it is. So once it gets past this point, you have to kind of push it in again. And there it is. So it's right here. Just push it down and pull it out. Uh, you could also do it from this, from this little opening right here. Pull that down and you can reach up over it and push down that clip and pull it out. Uh, but I mean, as you can see it, mine is screwed down. So and then just push on these two tabs and get the plugs out. Got it all out. Got the TBC unit. Got the cluster. Now I'm gonna go ahead and repair it. Uh, this is not a easy fix. It's not something you could do at home unless you have the correct equipment and um, experience with repairing, um, you know, microprocessors, resoldering microprocessors and other components. Uh, on an SMD level. So uh, if you don't have the experience or the tools, you could um, visit our website. I'll have a I'll have a link in our description. You could just click on that and it'll take you to our website. It'll, it'll show you what, what issues we repair on these clusters. And yeah, just send it over. We have a 24-hour turnaround time and a lifetime warranty on our services. Alright, so I got it all installed. So you can see the display is working properly. And um, so is this. And right there it says check trailer. That's just because there's no trailer. Uh, if there was a fault with it, uh, it would say TBC fault. This one's all ready to go. Thanks for watching.